In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Firebase authentication and then also how to automatically authenticate a user using anonymous login as soon as the user enters the app. So the reason we're going to do this is because we don't actually want our users to log in or at least we don't want that feature yet. So we're going to immediately log the user in just so we can get a user ID and then we'll later use that user ID to keep track of all that user's specific data, but the user won't even know that they're getting logged in or having an account created for them. It'll just feel like they're just using the app. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up our pubspec.yaml and we need to add the Firebase auth dependency. And then we'll run pub get then we can go over to Firebase itself and we need to actually enable authentication. So within our project here, we can click get started on the authentication. And the only one we're going to enable currently is the anonymous authentication. So we can hit save there. So now anonymous authentication is enabled and you can go over to users here. You'll see we have no users, which is expected currently. So back in Android Studio here, we are going to go into the services package here that is currently empty and we're gonna add a new Dart file. And we're gonna just call this the auth service. So this is going to be a custom class called auth service. So the main thing we're interested in doing here is creating a function that can check to see if there is a current user logged in. So our app right now, has no current user logged in. And if that's the case and there's no current user, then we want to create an anonymous user and, and log that user in without the user even knowing. And then next time the user comes to the app, they will be logged in. So it should find that user ID and not create a new user. Again, this is all just so we can track a user's data through Firebase. So we just need to get them that unique user ID. So this is actually relatively simple. We need to create an instance of Firebase auth. And we'll just call this Firebase auth. This will just be a Firebase auth instance. So now we have our instance. We can create a quick getter that is just going to get us the current user. And this is complaining here because we actually have null safety turned on. So potentially a current user could be null here. So to change that, we just need to make this return type nullable. So a current user could be null. And we do want that because as I said, the app state right now, the current user would be null. So now we're gonna create that function where we're going to get or create a new anonymous user and this is going to be a future that is going to be returning a user. And it will always return a user because we're either going to get the current user or create a user. So we'll name this get or create user. And now we can do a quick check on this current user getter up here. And we can just say if the current user is null, then we're going to actually create the user. So we're going to await a call to Firebase auth. And we're going to simply call sign in anonymously. Now that we'll be signed in, we can actually just return we can actually just return that current user. And again, we're going to have to make this return type nullable because in theory, this could be null, but in actuality, it never should be because really what we're doing here is checking if it's null. If it is null, we're going to create a user, which in that case, the user will be created. So when we come down here to make this call again to current user, at that point, it will get that new user that was just created. Now this get or create user 
function here needs to be called as soon as the app loads. So we only want to call it once and we want to call it when the app is first initialized. So it's going to happen over in main. And what we're going to want to do here is right after we initialize the app with Firebase, we're going to make another call to our auth service. And we're simply going to call that get or create user here. And that will log in the user and get us that current user back. This should be working if we restart the app and you do have to restart the app so that this gets hit. Then we should go, we should be able to go into Firebase here and see that we have a user account now. So yes, you can see we do have one user account that was created and that would be the user that is using this iPhone app. So if we restart the app here, it should not create a second user because it is going to be pulling that user ID that is already signed in. One nice thing to, that I do during testing is actually just print out the user ID. That makes it a little bit easier when we're dealing with these anonymous users because it can get hard to track the data when you're going between Firebase and this. So this can be done simply by adding a text here that is going to create an instance of our auth service. And then it's going to call the current user. And since that potentially could be null, we need to null escape that there and then call the UID on that. And at that point, you can see we do get that, that user ID down here. If we were to go ahead and run this in our Android app, you'll see as soon as the app loads, we're going to have a separate user ID there. And that is just another way to confirm that this is working and not using the same user ID for across all instances of the app, but it is using the same user ID for the same device. All right, yes, you can see here, we do get a different user ID on the Android device, which is expected. And then if you check over in Firebase as well, we now have those two users. If you aren't aware, this video is just one of a series of videos that are going to show you how to build an entire app. And the app that it's gonna be building is all focused around monetization. So the parts that you're gonna be able to see on YouTube for free are gonna be that base app. And this is part of that. But if you want to see all the ways you can monetize a Flutter app, which include ads, in-app purchases, and subscriptions, then you can check out the course. And right now at the launch of this video, you can get the course on pre-sale with a 30% discount. If you're interested in that, you can head on over to onemanstartup.com backslash monetize. If you miss the pre-sale, no worries, you can still get a discount and it will be a 15% discount. You just use the code YouTube subscriber when you are checking out. All that will be linked down below. Ciao for now.